Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install Commerce's shopping cart with MySQL database. As you know, by default, Commerce includes Access Database, which is fine to begin with e-commerce, but then if you get traffic on sales, you should think about upgrading to a more professional database like MySQL or SQL Server. Both databases are supported in the Power Pack. The Power Pack is $299 and includes not only the professional databases, but also the complete control panel, real-time shipments, online payments, and several optional features to increase sales designed for the storefront. So after you purchase the Power Pack, you will get a folder with all the files and features of the application. You have to extract one folder contained inside the Power Pack, which is SQL folder. There you will find the full data TXT and MySQL 8.0 structure. The, the MySQL 8.0 structure contains the database structure. So we go and copy the file contents and then we connect to the MySQL database. To connect to MySQL database, we use the IP provided by the web hosting company slash php my admin. Then we put the database username and the database password. We click go and then we are connected to MySQL database. The next step is to click in commerce's database. Maybe that name is different in your hosting company. And then we click in the SQL tab. Once we obtain the SQL text box, we paste the contents of the structure and we click Go. OK, your SQL query has been executed successfully and you can see all commerce tables in the sidebar. Right now, the next step is to return to SQL folder of the power pack and double click default data. This is all the information that we need to uh, fill the table. So we do the same procedure, we just copy the contents, we we'll go to phpMyAdmin, we paste the contents inside SQL query text box and we click go. Okay, your SQL query has been executed successfully and now we have the database structure and database contents already set up. The next step is to go to the local commerce and CPED files, includes folder, and double click into settings. Inside that file, we have the database information. So we go to this line, and instead of access, we are going to specify that now we are using MySQL. Then we comment the previous database connection, which in this case was the SN, we uncomment letting the first quote, sorry, not this one, this one, the MySQL connection string. Then we go to the server, in this case says localhost, and we put the IP of our MySQL database. And then we did the database name, we added also the user and the password. We save this file, and the last step is to go to FTP, connect, go to Includes folder, and just upload the modified settings. So that's it. That was everything, and right now we have our commerce store connected to a professional MySQL database. Thank you very much.